Laws.com. How to file for divorce in Pennsylvania. Step 1. Verify eligibility. To secure a termination of marriage in Pennsylvania, you must first satisfy the state's residency requirements. To be rendered eligible under the state's residency requirements, either you or your spouse must have resided in Pennsylvania for at least six months prior to the filing. Your residency to determine eligibility will be substantiated by your sworn complaint. In addition to residency requirements, Pennsylvania requires you on the divorce petition to state the grounds for your filing. In Pennsylvania, you may file a no-fault divorce if mutual consent is determined. If your spouse does not agree with mutual consent, you may enact the provision under Section 3301D of the Divorce Code if you have been living separately for at least two years and the marriage is irretrievably broken. You may also file a fault-based divorce under the grounds of adultery, separation, conviction of felony, desertion and abandonment, bigamy, and insanity. Step 2. File Divorce Papers. After establishing residency and labeling your grounds for divorce, you must travel to the office of the county of clerk where you are filing to procure the appropriate forms. Satisfy all inquiries on these forms, including any special requests you have regarding the acquisition of child support, child custody, alimony, or rights to property. After completing the forms, file them with the clerk of the county. After the individual stamps and signs the document, you must serve them to your spouse through the sheriff's office or a private process server. The act of serving your spouse provides him or her with official warning of impending legal action. Step 4. Serving Your Spouse your spouse, upon receiving the petition, is awarded 30 days to respond to the complaint. If your spouse agrees to your requests, your divorce will be streamlined and finalized by your local court. However, if your spouse disagrees to your requests for claims to property, custody, support, or alimony, legal action including a trial or alternative dispute process will be undertaken. Typically, these disagreements are settled during mediation or pretrial conferences. However, if no settlement is reached outside of court, your case will reach trial where a lengthy and costly dispute is inevitable. To forego attorney and court costs and to rid yourself of the emotional courtroom battle, it is strongly suggested that you find a middle ground with your spouse during pre-trial negotiations. To watch more videos, please make sure to visit laws.com.